Richard Southern joins us for our interesting stories chat. Could we soon be powering our homes with electricity from outer space? Richard, it isn't too distant a dream anymore, apparently. No, you can put your tinfoil hat away, uh, Erica. Good to see you, by the way. Uh, Japan, working now on a new program that aims to beam solar electricity from space down here to terra firma. A Japanese public-private partnership will attempt to beam solar energy from space as early as 2025. The project being led by Kyoto University, it's gonna deploy a series of small satellites in orbit. They will then collect the solar energy and use microwave energy to beam it down to ground-based receiving stations. This technology said to be perhaps a game changer because the satellites in, in, in orbit, they can collect sunlight 24 hours a day and using microwaves to beam it down to Earth means you don't have to worry about clouds. Wow. Erica, it's an out of this world fix to our energy problems maybe. That's incredible. That's just astonishing to think about the science behind that. It's amazing. All right. And is there anything microwaves can't do? It can make me popcorn in two and a half minutes and now this, yeah. it's amazing. Right. Okay, back here on Earth, authorities in Venice are going green, trying to solve a real mystery. Have you seen the canals in Venice, Erica? Take a look at what happened over the weekend. The Grand Canal went all fluorescent green. It was like something mm. out of the Ninja Turtles movie. Look at this. You, have you been to Venice, Erica? I have, yes. It's beautiful. So you saw these beautiful canals? That's on I, my to-do list. I wrote on list. one of those. Um, yeah. Sorry, go on. Oh. Jealous, very jealous. Sorry to interrupt you, but this is such an exciting story. Uh, they figured out what this was. It turns out, Erica, it was fluorescein, which is a non-toxic substance used for testing wastewater. So there was no uh, malicious uh, interference going on here, as they suspected. Not the first time the Venice Canals turned green in 1968. A Argentine artist dyed it green to bring attention to uh, the plight of the environment. You recommend Venice, Erica? Venice is beautiful. There's beautiful art there and just taking a ride along the canal and the food. It's just, yeah, can't go wrong. Okay. Top of my list. One pizza company is, um, speaking of Italy, one pizza company is making, selling their food in a unique way. Basically, it's payable yeah. upon death. <laughs> we don't want pizza that bad, do we, Erica? I don't know. Um, this is yeah, pizza chain out, out of New Zealand, and they're offering this new promotion where you pay for the pizza now, or you, you get the pizza now to eat it, but then you pay after you're dead. It's called the Afterlife Pay Plan. It requires those that want to participate to sign a real amendment to their will, allowing their pizza debts to be collected after they've passed on. There's no interest, no fees attached. Uh, it's inspired, the chain says, by all the buy now, pay later uh, programs we're seeing and while it is a marketing stunt it also is a legally binding agreement I don't know that I have enough assets Erica to cover my pizza, pizza death debt. pizza debts <laughs> after death I never, I never thought we'd be talking about pizza debt to be written into our wills okay thanks Richard we'll see you only tomorrow. in the interesting stories report Erica that's, that's we'll where you'll tomorrow. find it see you tomorrow